The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. If you think it's hot outside, just wait for the opening bell. This one's going to be blistering. We are just about set for singles action. Why would you just be joining us now? Where have you been? I, for one, have been looking forward to this match ever since it was added to the SummerSlam card. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Oh, this is going to be good. And the party has officially begun. But hey, when Triple H is in the house, you know what you're going to get. Two. One of the greatest to ever live, and here we go. Let's touch on Triple H briefly. I must admit that I did not see him hiring a manager coming. I assumed he was a bit of a lone wolf. Michael, this might be the best shape I've ever seen Triple H in, and that's saying something. All those late night training Six. sessions are clearly paying off. Hey, some guys work better when somebody else is doing the administrative end of the business. He's clearly one of those guys. Triple H, he's been a Connecticut Blue Blood, the leader of DX, the leader of Evolution, a decorated champion, and now Chief Operating Officer of the WWE. You have to admire the dynamic career this man has had, the dedication, the drive, and you can tell that he has the respect of everyone in that locker room and in each corner of the WWE Universe. The game starting to fade. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Come on, if he can't withstand this, he's in the wrong profession. Yeah, I just have a feeling that we have yet to see the best of this guy here tonight. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Jerry Lawler, when you take a look at the career of Triple H, it's important to remember this is a man who's been at the top of this business, whether leading a faction like D-Generation X or Revolution, or being on his own. It's how he has become known as the King of Kings. And one of the things about Triple H that has defined him throughout his career 
was his sensational appetite to be the very best. I mean, the game stopped at nothing to reach whatever heights he could achieve. Now, as COO of the WWE, he's using that same mentality to propel the company into the 21st century. AJ with the wherewithal to get out of the way. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Here's a cover. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. And these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. need for this. The WWE Universe, and the rest of the world for that matter, has witnessed Triple H at various points in his career. Whether he was being cheered or swimming in a sea of booze at the mere sight of him, this is a figure who had prided himself in being the absolute best in the business. And they know it. no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Triple H looked impressive tonight. 